Our goal at Autarco is to empower you to reach full potential as an installer. That's why we've created this installation video. You've just installed your three-phase smart meter. Great! Now, let's get it connected to the rest of your system. Read the smart meter installation documentation and follow all safety regulations before starting. Also, you must be a qualified and accredited technician to go through these steps. First, go to Advanced Settings in the menu and enter the password. You can contact Autarco support for instructions. Set the meter model. Select storage energy set. Choose meter set. Choose meter select. Pick the right meter from the options. Press enter to save the setting. After these steps, you can set the meter placement. Choose meter set. Choose meter placement. Choose grid. Press enter to save the setting. Ensure the battery setting is correct when you haven't installed a battery. Select battery control. Choose battery select. Choose no battery. If a battery is installed, choose the correct brand from the list. Press enter to save the setting. Please be aware that the smart meter you receive may differ in brand and model. The meter connection points can vary. So it's essential to go through the specific manual for your smart meter model beforehand and keep it handy. The connection points are also indicated on the product label on the side of the smart meter. If you have checked the connection points for your specific three-phase smart meter model, here's how to connect it with your hybrid inverter. Step 1. Connect the wires of the clamps to the smart meter. Make sure that the wires of all three CT clamps are ordered similarly. Step 2. Install the CT clamps on the phase cables that lead to the grid. Make sure all three clamps are located at the right phase. The clamp on phase 1 should be wired to the connection points of phase 1 on the smart meter, as well as the voltage connection point on the smart meter should be measuring the voltage of phase 1. Remember to note the arrow on the current clamp and ensure it is installed in the correct direction. Refer to the model specifications provided by the original supplier to verify this. Step 3. If present, refer to the label on the side of the smart meter to identify the designated connection points. Place the RS-485 connector in the inverter for the RS-485 communication between inverter and smart meter. Connect the RS-485 wires. For aqual meters, use connection points 21 and 22. For East Ron meters, use connection points 13 and 14. Please note that the direction of the phase numbering is opposite compared to aqual meters. Look at the meter's label or documentation to determine which connection point corresponds to a plus and which to be minus. If you are unsure, always refer to the designation on the label on the side of the smart meter or consult the original manual provided by the meter supplier. Ensure that you correctly connect the two connection points for the A and B sides. Step 4. Now, let's make sure the CT ratio of the meter is set up correctly. This setting depends on the CT clamps you have chosen. Check the label on the clamps for the CT ratio. Let's take a couple of examples. If you have clamps with a ratio of 150 to 5 amps, you'll need to set the ratio to 30, or 150 divided by 5, for clamps with a ratio of 300 to 5 amps. Set the ratio to 60, or 300 divided by 5. Here's how you can do it. 
For Aqua models, press the set button to enter the main menu and go to the pass interface. Press the enter button to display 0000 and enter the code 0001 by using the arrows. Press enter. Navigate to the in option and press enter. Navigate to CT and press enter. Adjust the CT ratio to the correct value by using the arrows. Press enter. The screen shows CT again. Press the set button two times. The menu shows in at the first click and then shows the save option at the second click. Press enter. Use the arrows to select yes. Press enter to save. Follow steps 1 to 5 to check if the CT setting has been saved. Press 4 times on set to exit the menu. These steps will ensure that the CT ratio is set accurately for your Aqual Smart Meter. For Eastron models hold the E button until the display shows the pass interface. Use the arrow buttons to enter the code 1000. Hold the E button until the setting menu appears. Use the arrow up and arrow down buttons to scroll through the different options in the setup menu. Please note that the up and down arrows give different results. The CT setting is for setting the CT ratio of the current transformer that is connected to the meter. For this model the secondary CT value, CT2, is fixed to 40 mA. Step 5. Select set CT1 and fill in the primary current corresponding to the clamps used. For the clamps we use the primary value 120 amps. Hold the E button until the first number starts flashing. Adjust the value using the up and down arrow buttons. Hold the E button until the display shows good. The settings should be saved now. Press the UI button to exit the menu. Lastly, to obtain consumption data via the MyOtaco app, you'll need to install and set up one of our sticks, Wi-Fi Stick D, LAN Stick D, or 4G Stick. To ensure that the clamps are positioned correctly for accurate consumption measurement, use the MyOtaco app. If you turn off the AC switch for the inverter or turn off the grid setting on the inverter, the CT clamps will measure consumption that is fully powered by the grid. In the MyOtaco graphs, the grid line should display a positive value, indicating that electricity is being imported from the grid. However, if the AC switch is off, and you notice that the grid line is showing negative values, the clamps are placed in the wrong direction. Don't worry. You have two options to resolve this issue, turn the direction of the clamps on the AC phase cables. Alternatively, switch the two wires of each clamp at the smart meter connection points. That's it. You're all set up. We hope this installation video has been helpful. However, if you still have issues, please don't hesitate to contact our support team.